In this video, I'm going to give you a short tour of our new WordPower 25 grid set, which is the latest addition to our WordPower collection. Created by SLP Nancy Inman, this grid set is a core based vocabulary that uses intelligent jumps, smart grammar and prediction cells to allow you to quickly and efficiently create sentences. To add the new grid set to your Grid Explorer, you can go to Menu, Add Grid Sets, Symbol Communication, Word Power Grid Sets, and then if you scroll down here, you'll find Word Power 25. If we jump into the grid set, you'll see that the cells are much larger in this version of Word Power and that there are fewer of them on the screen. There are some features on this home grid which will be familiar to anyone used to using Word Power 60 or 100, including pronouns on the left, verbs across the middle, and jumps to other bits of vocabulary such as describe, places, and time. You'll also recognize the groups jump, which takes you to a category index that I'll show you in a minute, and the ABC jump, which links to a simple keyboard. In this lower cell count version, Nancy has added some short phrases or sentence starters to help users build sentences quickly. For example, I like and I want. If I select I want, I want. You'll see that she's also built in an intelligent jump that gives you useful next words or phrases. This happens again if I select to go. To go. And once I've finished my sentence, the full stop will read my sentence and take me back to the home grid. For a walk. I want to go for a walk. You could also select a pronoun by itself rather than in the sentence starter. So I or you takes you to you with plenty of verbs on and the option for more actions or to jump home. The group cell takes us to a category index, which again will be familiar if you have used any other version of word power. You'll notice that there is some core vocabulary included in each category, so you can immediately start building a sentence. There are intelligent jumps built in here too, so as I start to write a sentence, I want to wear my pajamas. You can see it's very efficient and I'm not having to make many jumps myself. The category jumps are not self-closing, so in this case I can take myself back to the home grid using the home jump here. Both the actions and describe grids have lists of vocabulary as well as links to an A to Z list here, which can help build an awareness of early literacy. The social grid has greetings and commenting vocabulary, as well as a nice sentence starter to, that allows the user to say how they're feeling. For example, I'm great. It also has a jump to social questions and personal information, and this is an area that will need to be personalised for the user. If I go back and select more social, you'll see there's plenty of space to add in extra vocabulary and phrases, as well as specific cells to add special, school or home news that can be shared later. Finally, this version of WordPower also includes access to all the same accessible apps as the other versions. These are found in groups, more groups and special functions. Just like in WordPower 60 and 100, you have access to your phone, camera, clock and notes, as well as stored media such as music and videos. You also have access to environmental controls here and to settings for your device. What's really nice about these apps in WordPower is that the email and text options have lots of pre-stored symbol supported phrases to help someone who is learning communicate in this way. When writing a text message, I can choose from the pre-stored phrases to quickly build up my message. Hi. Hi. How are you today? When will I see you? And in the email section, there's even more phrases. And these are grouped into greetings, questions, news, and different ways to sign off. Just like in WordPower 60 and 100, you can also paste from chat using this cell here, which means adding in any text that you've written using the rest of your grid set to your email or text. And you have a link to a keyboard here, so you could type more if you wanted. We'll have a quick look at our keyboards before we finish, as they're a little different. I'll just start a sentence so you can see how it works. So in news, I'm going to say, I'm going to. to. 
and then I'm going to select the keyboard cell here. You can see it's a split keyboard, so the first letters of the alphabet are on this grid, and then you can select more to see the later letters in the alphabet. It's kept in alphabetical order as learners at this stage are more likely to recognize letters in this order. And it uses prediction cells so that as you start to type a word, for example, Canada, it pops up in the prediction cell here and I can select it to add it to my sentence. Canada. I could also access numbers to add those or punctuation to add simple punctuation to my message. I'm going to Canada. We've also added some simple editing tools here so that users can begin to explore those if they're at that stage. And then I can jump back, exit keyboard and send my email if I like, or go back to special functions and then go back home. So that's a quick tour of the new Word Power Grid set. We really hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, please let us know on our Facebook community or via the website or the other usual support routes listed below.